the Daily Purge. If I only knew then what I know now, I would, what? What would you do? When was, when was the last time you said that? And I know you said it, everyone says it, everyone has said it, right? If I only knew then what I know now, what could I do? Man, well, this is the thing. We say that often and then we move on back into the day, right? We forget completely about what we're talking about. We forget completely that the reason you said that is because you wanted to do something different. But are you doing something different? There's so many sayings out there that people use that doing the same thing over and over is uh, uh, expecting a different result is the, is the um, definition of insanity. Well, you know, whatever. All these, all these like really intelligent sort of statements don't mean anything if you don't take any action, right? People say those kind of things all the time. You read them all the time. All those super memes you see everywhere is, you know, the one who thinks first is the one who wins and all this kind of stuff. But what does it really mean to you? Do you read it and scan by or do you actually live by any of these principles? You know, and <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's difficult because you're always caught up in the day, right? People say all the time, I have no time to do this or that because I'm caught up in my business. And then, and then we sit there and, we, and we're thinking about the business, but not actually what's going on in the business, what's going to happen or what not's going to happen, what's not going to happen. Or you're fearful that something wrong is going to happen. There's a million things we think about except for what's going on right now. And so you're on one side, you're on social media or in the news, you see all these cool statements and rich people or, or poor people or whoever are saying these amazingly, you know, um, poignant sort of statements that could mean something if you actually heeded them and you actually paid attention to them, right? I mean, there's, there's a lot of times that we just browse by things that could change our lives. So th that, that's my question to you today. What's the last time, when's the last time you browsed by something? Hey, Mark, hey, Karen. When's the last time you browsed by a statement or a meme where you just laughed, you said, yeah, that's whatever, and you just keep going? It's because we see them every single day. The, the difference is some people take action on those. And sometimes it really only takes one word, one statement, one message, one person, one different tonality in the same language to catch your attention. But I would, you know, propose to you that being conscious of what we're looking at every single day in order to better our lives, better our business, and better our quality of lives is key. So when you wake up, you know, I had someone talking to me today, a great guy. He said, yeah, I really find it hard getting up this COVID. It's like ground, Groundhog Day. I get up, I have to stay home, I have to do this here. And I have to like, you know, every single day do the same thing. It drives me crazy. I don't get to get out. I don't get to see anything. And, that, and that's because there's no goal. You know, when, when, you're, when your surroundings change, when your situation changes, you've got to change your goals. You've got to change your targets. You've got to change your benchmarks. You've got to figure out a way to actually motivate yourself every day. And if you, some of you guys have seen me in this video sometimes early in the morning when I'm all fired up and pumped up. Why is that? Because I pump myself up every single day. I have to. What else am I going to do? Am I, am I going to be this, the, you know, the, the result of my devices? No. I'm going to drive my business. I'm going to drive my life. I'm going to make sure I'm happy. I'm going to be conscious of every moment, every word that comes out of my mouth. I try to be conscious. You know, am, am I going to argue with my wife about something that has absolutely no meaning? Or, or am, am, am I going to argue at all? Am I going to stand, stand my ground on something that doesn't mean anything? Am I going to invest energy in arguing and invest energy in standing my ground? Hey, hey, Allie, how you doing? Thank you so much. You too. Are you going to stand your ground on something that means nothing to you or anyone else? It's all energy, man. It's all energy. It all takes away from what you want to achieve. And, you know, I, I just, the more and more, I'm focusing more and more on helping others with their businesses, small business owners, specifically in the veteran space. And I've seen it more and more is that you give suggestions and they turn it away. You give ideas and they turn it away. You can't force feed somebody, but you can talk to them about their mindset. Because for me, mindset is the number one foundation on which to build success. And you can talk to any, any successful person and they'll tell you it's mindset. Anyone, unless they're, you know, a trust baby. It's all about mindset. And that starts even when you're not successful. Everyone thinks mindset comes into play when you're successful. It actually comes into play more when you're not successful. And it comes into play when you're successful to be even more successful. So it's all about mindset. So that meme you see on Facebook, stop, look and listen, and take a look and say, what does it actually mean to me when someone says, you know, be the change you want to see in this world? What does it actually mean to me? Am I being the change I want to see in this world? Am I making more money? Could I make more money? Could I take action today? Or am I just going to be complacent and do the same thing I do every day and expect a different result? It's not that easy to go through these days like that. I know that. I'm, you know, I'm living proof. I'm always you know, up and down and up and down. But I do know one thing. I get up every morning with the will, the power, and the intention, because that's all we control, to make it the best day I've ever had. And I do that consciously. And man, it's hard sometimes. If there's one thing that you do different in your life starting today, if you don't do it already, is get up with that intention to be fantastic in that day. And if you're, if you're just home cutting the grass, be fantastic at cutting the grass, right? It's time, as you can see. <laughs>
So I'm going to be fantastic at cutting the grass in the next two days. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. Love you guys. I really, really appreciate the support. Get out there. If you need any help, give us a holler. Hey, Ryan, how you doing, brother? If you, get, if you, if, if you need anything, give us a holler. Let us know what you need. Uh, and uh, we'll be happy to support you, okay? I'm going to have a fantastic day. And remember, it really is. It truly is. All about quality of life.